like to go out and talk to the crowds? I do, I do. I like reading their signs. I like hearing that message that they're sending right back to me. As evidenced by this, another guy in the crowd holding up a sign. Today, his supporters proudly and with no apparent rebuke from their fellows or McCain brandished signs tying Obama to Osama bin Laden, as well as a curious George doll, which we saw over the weekend, a monkey intended to represent Obama himself. The monkey is the doll, not the guy in the glasses. <laughs> this is little Hussein. <laughs> Little Hussein wanted to see truth and good Americans. Palin's supporters began to hurl abuse at reporters. One even shouted a racial epithet at an African-American sound man for a TV network. One woman hollering, quote, bomb Obama. Terrorist, treason, off with his head, kill him. Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein Obama. Who is the real Barack Obama? <laughs> As Palin's opening act, Republican congressional candidate Chris Hackett ranted against Senator Obama, a McCain supporter in the crowd screamed, kill him. Again? Is this another isolated incident from a rogue nut? Maybe, hope so, but maybe not. A camera in the crowd at yesterday's McCain-Palin rally, McCain rally in Virginia caught another outburst of, that occurred apparently within earshot of Senator McCain and Governor Palin. Obama been lying, he's saying. An achievement in deliberate, creative, and offensive bad spelling. Just listen to what some voters in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania had to say on Wednesday when their remarks were captured by the folks at Keystone Progress as supporters were waiting to get into a McCain-Palin rally. That guy gets elected, he hangs around with terrorists. Who's the terrorist? Obama. Yeah. Obama's a terrorist, don't you know that? Obama's a Muslim, he's a terrorist himself. You believe that uh, Senator Obama is a terrorist? I believe he supports terrorism. A terrorist. Screw Obama! Boo! Acorn and he either. is a mu I'm Muslim. For so is Senator Obama an American too? I don't know what he is. All day long today until the very end of the day, the attacks on Obama's character from the McCain campaign continued. The aggressive comments overheard at McCain-Palin event rallies, uh, events and rallies ha have coincided roughly with the entrance of the phrase William Ayers into the McCain and Palin stump speeches. No one paying attention thinks that this is a coincidence. We know Bill Ayers ran the violent left-wing activist group called Weather Underground. We know Ayers' wife was on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. We know they bombed the Capitol, the Pentagon, a judge's home. One of his earliest supporters is a man who, according to the New York Times, was a domestic terrorist and part of a group, part of a group that, quote, launched a campaign of bombings that would target the Pentagon and the U.S. Capitol. So very quickly, the Obama camp put out a statement saying, quote, the very newspaper story Governor Palin cited made clear that Senator Obama is not close to Bill Ayers, much less pals, and that he has strongly condemned the despicable acts Ayers committed 40 years ago when Obama was eight. Barack Obama, eight years old at the time of these bombings. Obama launched his political career in Ayers' living room. He had launched his political career in the living room of a domestic terrorist? You launched your political campaign in Mr. Ayers living that's absolutely that's false there was a coffee Obama attended at Ayers house but Obama's campaign and hence career was launched at a Ramada in 1995 when the relationship became an issue Obama just responded this is a guy who lives in my neighborhood they live in the same neighborhood both worked with a nonprofit Annenberg challenge on a local school improvement project and both were board members for the same charity. Um, Ayers hosted a campaign event for Obama when Obama was running for state senate. But Obama's campaign says they've had no contact by phone or email since 2005. When Obama just says, this is a guy who lives in my neighborhood. Our opponent is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to pal around with terrorists who targeted their own country.
Our verdict here is false. There is no indication that Ayers and Obama are palling around or that they have had an ongoing relationship in the past three years. And also, there's nothing to suggest that Ayers is now involved in terrorist activity or, or that any other Obama associates are. So there you go. I'm sure that some will say, geez, they're getting kind of negative. No, it's not negativity. It's truthfulness. It is not mean-spirited. It is not negative campaigning. I think it's disgraceful to, to, to pretend that something that Barack Obama had absolutely nothing to do with somehow has an impact on his judgment when he hasn't, this is not an advisor, this man doesn't work for the campaign, he's a citizen in the, in the city of Chicago who's crossed paths occasionally. And John McCain has countless numbers of people in his campaign and around his campaign. What about all the Republicans who've gone to jail? Duke Cunningham from the United States Congress. What about Mr. Libby from the White House, who was the chief of staff to the vice president? Is John McCain, therefore, guilty because of all of them? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's insulting to Americans, and people want to talk about the economy, their jobs, their health care, uh, about how you make America strong, get our troops home from Iraq in a responsible way, fight a more effective war on terror, pay for education, fix this economy. Those are the real issues, and John McCain can't talk about them. His own campaign has said, we don't want to talk about the economy, so they're trying to go out and attack Barack Obama. I think Americans know better this time. I think we learned a lesson in 04, and I hope that lesson will be profoundly registered on November 4th. But first, an observation about the riskiness of Barack Obama, that Senator McCain and his partner in maverickiness, Governor Palin, have been hammering for the last couple of weeks. Barack Obama, too risky for America. Now, this is not a man who sees America as you and I see America. We see America as a force for good in this world. The chair of the Republican sure. Party in Virginia has said, quote, in Time magazine, both Barack Obama and Osama bin Laden have friends that have bombed the Pentagon. That is scary. Is that appropriate for a state party chair to be saying? I, I'd have to look at the context of his remarks. I have always repudiated any comments that have been made that were inappropriate, inappropriate about uh, Senator Obama. The chairman of the party of the state you're just talking about, that you're just in today, Virginia, um, yeah. he said that he believes that there is a connection between Osama bin Laden and Barack Obama because he said they both have friends who bombed the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. so when you hear something like that, no, and, uh, and that's a GOP leader, and I have repudiated every time there's been a statement about Senator Obama made that I felt was inappropriate and unfair. Now, a, a respected member of Congress, John Lewis, who I admire and have written about how much I admire, somehow linked me and Governor Palin to racism, to segregationism, to... Uh, some of the worst aspects ever appear in American politics. We've heard people in the crowd screaming things like terrorist, traitor, and when you talked about Senator Obama, and worse. I've heard the same that? thing. I've heard the same thing at, uh, I've heard the same thing, unfortunately, at Senator Obama's rallies being said about me. Senator McCain, your supporters at your events are calling Obama a terrorist and traitor and are calling for him to be killed and yet you keep bringing back these same rabid right-wing nuts to deliberately stir these crowds into frenzies. And then you take offense when somebody who remembers the violence of our political past calls you on it. You, sir, are responsible for a phalanx of individuals who are shouting fire in a crowded theater. There are some things to respect and honor about you, Senator McCain, but on this, you are not only a fraud, sir, but you are tacitly inciting lunatics to violence. And their effort is to sow doubt. Their entire strategy is sow doubt, attack character. While those attacks may not have helped Senator McCain standing in the presidential race, they have certainly resonated on another level by stoking fears and calls to violence among his supporters. And while Senator McCain appeared to put his foot down on Friday about these outbursts from the crowd. I got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma he's a, 
He's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Governor Palin has yet to do so, even though the majority of these incidents have been reported at her rallies. McCain, I really think the next time somebody says traitor, really needs to say, excuse me, my friends. He's not a traitor and he's not a terrorist. I will not stand for these hateful remarks. I'm waiting for that and I'm afraid I'm going to be waiting for a long time. Too risky for America.